and welcome back to our community. I forgot to do an intro, so here is the Aspen Vlog. I ski for the first time ever, so stay tuned for that. And explore Aspen, let's, let's hit it. I look like a sperm. <laughs> His mom gave me this, and I was gonna wear something that looked a little cuter, but I it's it says it feels like negative 17 degrees today, so <laughs> I figured I would wear what, what was warmest. We are in Aspen. We're going to go to my first skiing lesson ever. I've never even been on a trip like this in my life. I've never, never put on skis before. I've never worn an outfit like this. I'm, look at this freaking view. Crazy. Ethan skied, skied a few times. Wish me luck. How do you think I'm gonna do? I think you're gonna do great. I can't wait to hear all about it. He's lying. All right, keep you posted, but for now, look at this. definitely feels like it feels like negative 17 degrees it says but it doesn't feel as cold as it does in New York City yeah but well, when you have 18 layers I know but even yesterday when we grabbed food like it didn't feel it's not windy well, like the, the, in New York City it's windy and like in New York City it's hard to get direct sunlight because you have all the buildings blocking it but here there's true it's direct yeah sunlight look at the sun it makes a huge difference it can make it feel Very 20 true. degrees warmer yeah, it like felt really nice outside because it's so sunny. There are homes right at the top of that and we're already at the ski village. Those are probably over 10 million. They're huge. and this is, it's like so enjoyable. It's sunny. I think that's Ethan. Right there in the orange. There it is. That's so funny. Oh my, he sees me. This is abs, oh my, my cheeks are so red, my rosacea. This is abs. Absolutely stunning. I have the gondola to myself. This is crazy. No one talks about how freaking beautiful it is. Well, yes, they do, but I just didn't realize. I've never really done like a mountainous trip before. Wow, I'm gonna take this all in. Usually I get scared of heights, but after doing the ski lift all day, I'm just like, holy shit, I have this to myself. This is amazing. I'm just gonna take it all in. There's Ethan in the orange jacket under me in the gondola. That is so cool. Look at him go. There's Ethan waiting for me. That is so crazy. <laughs> oh my, he's literally waiting. I could tell he's looking up. Look at his bright orange jacket. I don't know if I'd find him any other way. He's waving. <laughs> That's awesome. How did he find me? <laughs> I'm literally in one of these gondolas up here and he found me. <laughs> oh, he jumped. Found him. Oh. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, you look silly wearing a mask in the house. <laughs> All right, 
dropping Ethan off to ski and I'm headed to Aspen to work from a coffee shop. I'm so excited. And once we get to Denver, I will tell you all about our days skiing and my first time skiing ever. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm on my phone now. Lots of juggling when it's this cold and you have stuff, it's just like a lot. But I'm at the bus stop. Apparently, not apparently, for sure, there's this free bus that takes you to every mountain. So right now we're at Buttermilk Mountain where Ethan is skiing. And then I'm taking this free bus that was right here, eight minutes to Aspen. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. Gonna walk around the town, do some work, get some coffee, have a meal, just like have myself a cute day. I have a lot of work to do and I wanna plan Denver, which is next. But I also brought my book, Think Like a Monk, so. This is crazy. So we're right in Aspen Town and people are skiing right there. So much weirder vlogging in public here because it's not New York City and people are quiet. It's weirdly quiet, but look around. Everyone's done skiing and snowboarding. I sat at that coffee shop all day. I'm walking around now. It's four o'clock. I'm gonna get a pastry. We are in Aspen Town right now. There's the beautiful view of the mountain, all the shops, and then you see people skiing right there. But it's the end of the day. The slopes are closed, so there's only like one person left. All right, I just got a muffin. I have a whole episode coming out on solo travel with Jen Tenzer. She literally solo travels for a living basically and helps other people, other women solo travel. And I feel like having the state of myself while Ethan skiing has allowed me to tap into that like mindfulness practice and self-care practice of self solo travel and just tuning into self, taking in all the new experiences, the new surroundings. I haven't listened to any podcasts or consumed any content all day. It's just been so peaceful. Just like a little pro tip, if you're traveling with friends or a boyfriend to have one day to yourself. Found you thin, he came back for me. Now we're just walking around Aspen. The fact that it's a town, but there's mountains everywhere. It's almost like a mountain town. Thanks. So beautiful. So beautiful. Aww. I had such a little self-care day with myself. Sat at the coffee shop, hung out, read a book. I like, could breathe and it was peaceful and silent. And somehow like I was sitting outside, it was very sunny and really peaceful. It was very weird to not hear sirens and cars honking like you do in New York. It definitely was a much needed breath of fresh air. How was your day skiing? It was really nice. We took it a little easier today. Um, easier mountain instead of snow mass. You went we to went buttermilk? To buttermilk and everything was Pretty straightforward, but it was nice. Skied it really fast. Only got a couple hours in today. Like three. Like three hours. <laughs> Okay, we are going to have dinner in Basalt at a place called Free Range Kitchen. Call Kitchen! It Kitchen! Alright, 
last day in Aspen, or really basalt, but right next to Aspen. I have a very stuffy nose. It's been very cold here, but so sunny. But little recap, it was my first time skiing ever, ever, ever in Aspen at Snowmass, which was incredible. Like it was, there was a roller coaster there. It was so awesome. And the instructor was a former figure skater. Like she was really great. I can imagine that a lot of ski groups were probably just like, okay, go, let's see. But she was like really picky and nitty gritty to the point where I feel like I really have a solid foundation and like really want to keep skiing. It was really nerve wracking at first, but doing a lesson I think is so imperative. It must be really scary to just go out there. There's so much that I didn't even pick up on until like the second day. So I did two lessons. I was only intending on doing one. But then I was like, what a shame. Like I was kind of getting it for the most part the first day. So I was like, I feel like I need to go to the second day to get like build a foundation. So I did a second day. I pushed myself, expanded my comfort zone. I'm going to do a podcast episode with Ethan on this because we just discovered this new concept of instead of just, you know, putting yourself out of your comfort zone for a day and then going back in it, it's more about expanding your comfort zone. So I want skiing to now become another thing in my comfort zone and that just expands it. So imagine your comfort zone is like this circle. Now I'm skiing, I'm skiing, I'm skiing. And now that's even a little bigger. And now I'm going to try mountain biking. Now I kind of like that. And that's in my comfort zone. So we're going to have a whole conversation on our podcast about that. I'm going to record that in Denver this week with Ethan. So stay tuned. I got to start packing up, but really, I would just say the best part about these lessons is that you're taking them with other people who've only skied for the first time ever that day also. So you kind of make friends. I made friends with this girl, Victoria, who lives in Denver, moved there from Baltimore. And now if I go to Denver, I have a friend there. So we both took those lessons first day and second day together, which was really fun. It's a great way to meet people and also like connect with other people who are also completely new to it. So I think taking a lesson is not only great to build a foundation, but also just to feel like you're on the same page with other people. Yeah. So I highly recommend it. It's not that scary because you're on the mini, mini bunny slopes. And if you are scared, then you just leave. It's definitely expensive though. Highly recommend borrowing ski clothes from other people. If it's your first time, don't invest in really expensive ski wear because if you don't like it and you don't want to go back now, you have like, it's like very expensive expensive like ski pants and jackets are like hundreds of dollars and then just rent your equipment they usually come or mine came within the first timers lesson bundle which was also a few hundred dollars but because Ethan's sister lives here and they have a premier ski pass um that came with some promo codes for us to use so I paid about 185 for a lesson, which is pretty good with equipment included. So I felt really good about that. And yeah, I'm like, I love the culture. Like there's something about a ski trip that's so cool. It's like you go out, you ski all day, and then everyone in town is like grabbing a beer in their ski clothes. Or like you saw, we went to the W Hotel rooftop and jumped in the hot tub overlooking the incredible mountains. Like I just love the culture here. It's like casual, everyone's in their ski wear, grabbing drinks and like, you're so active all day that you're so tired at night, but also on a high from all the activity and you just feel really good about yourself for being active and it's so sunny that if I really wasn't cold like I layered up a lot I use this as heat techs Unigal is heat tech wear which Shelby introduced me to Shelby Church when I was filming around with her in the city she was filming a video about New York City and we went into Unigal and I was like I don't even know what this is um but it really helped so just layer a lot but honestly like if it's 30 degrees in Colorado it's really sunny so you get really hot I was never cold I was most scared about being too cold and wanting to leave I was never cold you're being active it's sunny I really enjoyed it I love the culture of it. I love the trip of it all. So highly recommend. If you have any other like specific questions about skiing for the first time, comment down below. Other than that, I'm going to end this vlog here before we head out to Denver and we'll do a ton of content in Denver. I have so much planned for you there. Doing a whole video on what it is like to live in Denver featuring a bunch of locals. We're going to follow local recommendations, talk about what it's like to live there with a bunch of different locals' perspectives. So I'm really excited about that. I hope we can do this in a bunch of different cities. Anyway, subscribe if you're new. Like this video. Tell them to give it a thumbs up. He just went on a long run. Give it a thumbs up. I went on a hike. Alright. Love you guys.